As the investigation continues in Las Vegas, so do funeral plans and vigils throughout the country. So far, of the 58 people killed in the shootings, three have been identified with Utah ties. New specialist Alex Cabro is in our newsroom tonight. And Alex, there was a vigil in southern Utah tonight for the victims. That's absolutely right, right Mike, and it was at the campus of southern Utah in Cedar City. Now, there was a similar vigil there just a couple of nights ago, but now that one of the victims has been identified as a Cedar City resident, the tone of tonight's vigil was definitely a lot more solemn. None of it will ever make any sense. We must build bridges across our differences to pursue the common good which makes coming together we important. We will be here and we will help each other and we will heal together. Especially now at Southern Utah University where lots of students are from Las Vegas, only two hours away. Without them, I don't think I'd know where I'd be. Omar Maravilla had friends at that I'm concert Sunday night. Set. Three were shot, one didn't make it. I've known him since middle school. So it's been quite a few years since I've known him. He's just one of those guys who's always happy, very cheery. A wonderful guy to be around and it sucks to know that you were around him for one time and now you can't ever. There's a certain finality when talking about friends you will never see again. The kind of violence that happened on Sunday night. It's often said college students feel invincible so when something happens to rip that away so too does the innocence of youth seem to go away. Yeah I think in general that society there's some things that go wrong but I'm glad that there's hope in society. Now is the time to unite. A vigil now can't change what happened, but it can help comfort those looking for answers that may never come. One person doing one heinous act doesn't define us, and uh, together we can, we can get through this and, um, and be strong. And Three Utah residents were killed in Las Vegas. Heather Alvarado, who is from Cedar City, Cameron Robertson, who is from St. George, and Nasa Tonks, who lived out of state but went to Brighton High School. This vigil was for them, the others who were killed, and the hundreds more who were injured in those shootings. Mike and Dini. Yeah, it's events like that you hope help in the healing process. Alex, thank you.